we're here in the beautiful Honduras. As you can see, there's a huge wreckage of a ship in the in the center. I don't know why I'm talking with this fake British accent, but I'm sorry. There seems to be someone calling me from the next balcony. I don't know who this boy is, but he appears to know my name. Well, it's hot. I would wear a sleeveless shirt. My mother recommends I wear a sleeveless shirt. This will be instrumental in my survival on the hot island. The ship looms over me as I walk along the pier. It may look a little intimidating at first, but it's okay. I just have to remember to get to where I'm going. The water is blue around me, and it looks very nice to swim in. Maybe I'll get a chance to do that later. Just gigantic. It's important to get through these touristy areas as quickly as possible, as they can prove to be quite time consuming. I have to get moving. I've reached the main area and it's just incredible. The amount of tourist shops is overwhelming. It's key not to get sidetracked by your inner urge to shop, as this will only deplete your money amount. Also, sustenance is key. I'm now going to drink some water to keep hydrated and to keep my senses attuned. So I've managed to find a secluded area away from the hubbub of the public. These calming waters will help me get my bearings and prepare me for my next move. This dock looks sturdy, but I can't be sure. It might have been suffering from erosion, so I have to step lightly. The water is crystal clear and I can see straight to the bottom. This also provides a good vantage point. Taking my God knows where. I don't know, they've slapped a bracelet on me. Probably to identify me with. I just gotta keep my head down. Maybe I'll find a way out. Even though I'm being held captive on a bus, I can still use the large windows to my advantage. Observing my surroundings as they pass can be key when I'm trying to make my escape from my captors. As we draw nearer, it looks like they've taken me to some sort of prison camp, deep into the jungle. I'll have to rely on my instincts if I'm to escape with my life. I'm surrounded by dense jungle on all sides. This can sometimes disorient you, but it's essential to stay focused on the task at hand. There seems to be a large group of prisoners gathering. I'd better take a look. I've joined a group of prisoners that are being herded into the jungle. This could provide the escape route that I need. Just incredible! And I'm not just talking about the waterfall. <laughs> Alright, the group has moved on and we're being herded into a menacing looking cave. I better watch my back. Now that I think of it, this could provide good shelter. It even features a water cooler. A rare pleasure in the jungle. As I explore the cave further, I find priceless riches carelessly placed out in the open. I wonder what happened to this poor soul. Our trek continues through the relentless jungle. Maybe the guards are trying to walk us to death. All I know is that I'm hungry, and if I don't eat soon, I'll die. It looks like I found my lunch. And here's my dessert. Seconds, anyone? A monkey lands on my shoulder and inspects my shirt. I have to be careful. It could kill me with its cuteness. It seems as if the prisoners are being led back to the bus. It looks like this wasn't a prison camp after all. 
I guess I'm going home. But that doesn't mean I can't have an afternoon snack. Well, I've navigated my way back to the boat, and Honduras grows smaller and smaller as we sail away. I'm lucky to have escaped with my life. I hope I taught you some survival tricks you could use in your own situations. I'm going to go up on deck and work on my tan, a great source of vitamin D. Thanks for watching.